Okay guys, we're going to take a look at this Radio Shack Model 100 portable computer. It's a TRS-80 Model 100. Um, it comes in this black case. case is in good condition, as you can see. No issues. Um, this computer is circa approximately 1983. So that's when it came out. Not sure when this particular one was made. But the product line came out in 1983 so um, yeah so let me set this off to the side and we'll take a look right so this is the computer itself and you can see my camera there in the uh, LCD display uh, it has full-size keyboard with nice nice travel it's not like a chiclet key or anything like that uh, here's the badge here, Radio Shack 2RS80 Model 100 Portable Computer. Um, all kinds of ports and switches and stuff like that on this thing. Um, on this side here, direct and ACP, I don't know what that is. Answer and originate, I believe that's for the phone modem. Uh, this looks like a serial port of some kind. Not sure what that's used for. Uh, there is a DC in here. I don't have a power supply for this. Just running it off of, uh, it runs on just like four AA batteries. We'll look at the battery compartment in a moment though. Here is the contrast, uh, contrast control for the screen on off switch for the computer. Then on the back we have an RS-232C, we have a printer port, we have a phone and a cassette port, uh, cassette connection there. If you want to run a, um, uh, cassette drive so and then if you see right there is a reset button and we'll look at that in a second too this is some type of expansion here and there's your serial number three zero eight zero zero four zero five eight and uh, there's some other information there so you can see it's like in really nice shape overall uh, nice little computer all the rubber feet are still there even so very clean let me open up the battery compartment and you can see that this runs off of one two three four double a's uh, battery contacts are clean no issues there and this little switch here memory power uh, you want to leave that on if you want to store your programs in memory that you're working on and uh, there will be a slow battery drain though associated with that so if you have that switch on then the programs that are in the computer will stay for about 30 days it'll hold the uh, it'll hold the programs there for about 30 days otherwise you're gonna need to get some kind of um, some kind of external storage so let's go ahead and turn this sucker on. Let me get a little better angle on this. Let's see how that's gonna look. Put power it on. Yeah, you can see it pretty well. Um, there's a little bit of glare, but I'll bet if I zoom in here, you can tell. I'm gonna zoom in on just the screen for a moment. And you can see the screen is very viewable. You'll need light. It's not backlit or anything. It's just an LCD screen. And then I'm going to adjust the, uh, here's the contrast adjustment. You can see I can make this very readable. Um, there are a couple of small, like, there's a little scuff there, there, and here. Otherwise, I don't see really anything wrong with the screen at all. So let me back out a little bit. And you can see right here, uh, 29,606 bytes free. So <laughs> I'm assuming this is like a 32K model. It came in several different memory configurations. This is one of the, uh, I believe one of the higher ones actually. So, okay, so to uh, navigate this menu, when you first come up, you'll have a, there's a basic, um, basic, program editor slash uh, debugger I guess here's a text uh, editor here is telecom for 
I guess, modem operations. Uh, whenever I go there, it's got some kind of telecom. I don't even know. Find, call, stat, term. Uh, and these are must be function keys here. Term. Hmm, I don't even know what I did there. Okay, I hit break. Uh, if you hit this, if you see this button right here where it says break and pause, hitting this uh, by itself is pause and shift of that is break. So we'll look at that in just a minute. Let me get out to the main menu here. There we go. And we'll go to the basic editor. And you can see it's just got some version of uh, Microsoft Basic on it, 29,350 bytes free. Uh, it's actually a pretty good bit. I remember when I was running, uh, remember when I had my Commodore 64 a long time ago, it would have like 38K free. So this isn't too far from that. Let's go ahead and see if we have a program in memory. I think I cleared it out. Uh, you see how it typed numbers just now. You see there's a numeric keypad here listed uh, you control that right here if I press that then we'll just get letters see there we go really nice little keyboard so let's list and see if there's a program in memory there's not so let's make one we're gonna go 10 uh, 4i equals 1 to 100 20 we're going to print I 30 next uh, do I need to say next I I'm not sure let me see what happens no I don't okay so real simple little program there runs that's about <laughs> that's about the speed it runs at you know it's like uh, what I put a hundred in there I think I put one to a hundred like a modern computer, if I ran this program, it would run the program in less than a second. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and let that run out. And then OK, and then if you want to see the program in memory, it lists. And some of you guys may be familiar with basic uh, then of course if you want to clear that program out you just hit new and then if you hit list again okay nothing so there we go um, the button the reset button I showed you a moment ago in the back hit that now that'll bring me out to the main menu again of course there is a text editor here uh, and you see text that's the text editor you can make a new file there or you can edit an existing file uh, I'll go ahead and do that and file to edit. We're going to call this uh, eBay demo file. Uh, probably my, I think my file name was probably too long for this thing. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and type a little text, eBay demo. And you know what, I'll go ahead and reset. Okay, and if you look here, there's a new file on this uh, directory ebay.do and if we go down there then you see here is my file ebay demo we can edit it or whatever so uh, guys this thing is working uh, looks like it's working hundred percent to me now um, there are some functions that I don't know exactly how to use let me reset again it looks like like when I go to address book address.do not found so it's looking for a file that's just not there um, so and it does the same thing it's trying to open an address file that does not exist uh, schedule note.do not found so there's probably some way you can enter into the text editor um, note.do or schedule.do and uh, note.do or what was the other uh, address.do probably enter that information using the text editor 
uh, in some format which I don't even know. Uh, I have to look online, Google it, find out what the format is looking for is, and then you can probably use those uh, things there. The telecom uh, program, I can't fully test it. There's a, like I say, there's some type of a phone <laughs> adapter right here. I think there may be a phone modem built into this little box, but I'm not 100%. So there we go, guys. That is a fully functional, nice condition uh, Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 100 portable computer. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you'll have any questions. Bye-bye.